The sentencing of Joel Greenberg closes the criminal cases against him, but Seminole County, where much of the damage was done, is still working to move forward. Rush News Dave McDaniel is also live at the federal courthouse with reaction to today's proceedings. Dave. Well, Stuart, just recently, Seminole County announced that it was, had received more than a million dollars in restitution from Joel Greenberg, but county leaders have pledged that they will continue to work to make sure that all of the county's interests are protected. We're very pleased with the 1,359,000 uh, from the defendant. A large amount of misspent money returned to Seminole County. Uh, it goes a long way towards restitution, and I've now asked the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to look at all the other files uh, to determine whether or not other individuals should be uh, responsible. The ongoing review intended to make sure there wasn't other improper things going on financially while Joel Greenberg was tax collector. We've been plodding along, working very hard to get the office back to normal. So, um, you know, right now, right now, everything's going great in the office. The current Seminole County tax collector sat in on the sentencing and felt it was a significant step. Justice finally took its took its course and took a long time, but we're finally there, get to close this chapter in the book in Seminole County and move forward you know, with, with the tax collection and, and trust of the people in Seminole County. I did hear him apologize specifically, specifically to me today. A former political rival of Greenberg's was here to thank the federal government for providing accountability for Greenberg. After Butte was targeted in a smear campaign with anonymous letters to his work and fake social media accounts while running for tax collector against Greenberg. He would later admit to causing the letters to be sent and causing the creation of the Twitter and Facebook accounts. Butte said many had reached out to state officials while Greenberg was in office, suggesting improprieties that needed to be addressed. He says those reports were ignored. How does the state of Florida overlook a tax collector's massive crime spree, spree occurring with less than one term in office? On the front steps of the federal courthouse today, Butte basically called on the chief inspector general to look into why this suspicious activity was called into various layers of the state government and nothing was done. He wants that chief inspector general to give him an answer. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, Dave McDaniel, West News.